welcome to another year of the Battle Laps Moonstone Report. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we did a bit of swap round today, so I'm going to use Jack's gnomes, and he's using my fairies. Curse you. Curse you on my fairies. Um, we only got four models each, mainly just because he wants like, a shorter game. Um, so I've got Morris, Graddock, Rama Gimble, and Young Jack. And Jack has got Wasp, Fencer, Freya, and Silvertongue. What the board looks like, and there you can see the Moonstone spread. There's five coloured Moonstones on there. Got my new piece of scenery. Oh, it's not finished yet. <laughs> it's actually a windmill, but it looks quite like, just like it's like quite a cool tower. So Jack's won the... I won the deployment, so I deployed this it. side, yeah. so he is going first. So we come back at the end of turn one because um, not much really happens and I want this to be quite a short report. Everyone's kind of moved up. Morris picked up the Moonstone that was there. Silvertongue picked up the Moonstone that was there. Freya reduced that Moonstone by two. These two just used all their energy to step all the way up from the back. So Wasp is now in contact with that Moonstone but couldn't do anything and Fencer is now up there. Jack picked up that Moonstone and then got mother's loved, got loved by the mother, and dropped a couple of inches backwards. And last of all, Graddock caused two wounds on Wasp with stair traps. So this is what it looks like. We're all bunching up towards the middle. Yeah. So just let's summarise most of turn two, because actually not a lot has happened yet. Uh, <coughs> Morris moved up a little bit, tried to do sinkhole on Freya, did one damage. Um, Graddock did snare traps on wasps, doing one more damage. Uh, Silvertongue managed to heal the one wound that was on Freya, and Freya healed the wounds that were on wasp. Silvertongue's dodged over there. Wasp obviously picked up that moonstone, that was his first activation, and then did a jog back to there. Um, young Jack moved up to there, and then got enfeebled, damn it, by... Yeah, minus three. Uh, Minus three as well, even though he was within <coughs> three inches of, or two inches of, um, Granik had to show the cart and he had a red three. So he got minus three damage, which is a bit, well, awful. <laughs> um, and now he's attacking me. Um, so this is where it's looking like at the moment. Mama Gibble hasn't activated yet, she's the only one apart from Fenso now in the middle of her activation. Uh, these are my cards. What have you got? Upgrade. I'll, I'll also upgrade. Okay, I'm on turn over. Uh, thrust. So I've got no guard and he got a thrust. So we'll do thrust versus my needle point. Two yeah. damage. Two damage, which is minus one, I believe. Can't be reduced by passive abilities. Okay, cool. So I'll have a two damage. And weakling's a passive ability, right? So it's not reduced by that either. So. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I never thought of that, you know. Yeah. I never thought of that. That's awesome. that really yeah, yeah, I don't think that either. It's all possibilities. Oh, that makes Fencer a lot better than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> a lot better. I, I did not think of that. So I'll also upgrade mine. Now that you won't suffer the damage, obviously, damage. because my three, but you will be pushed two inches away. <coughs> not directly away, yeah. Directly away. Just... Yeah. Yeah. Cool, so... which now means you can't hit me again, which is the main thing. Yeah, so I've just got one energy left. So yeah. I'll like, step over this way. Cool. So just to round off the end of turn two, Mamma Gimbal easily then healed Jack. Finally I got the cards I needed. I got four blue cards I needed, so I could have healed him when I needed them. Okay. Um, and did a little step there. Jack also used his energy to do a, a step. reaction step that to that, that melee that had just happened. So we're looking at this. The gnomes are kind of where they want to be, but not with enough moonstone. Yeah, only two moonstones. Only two moonstones. So we'll see what happens in turn three. Ah, uh, we're being invaded by some massive beast. Ah! Oh, right, the first activation of turn three, which was Jack, he somehow managed to get all the way over there. Um, he basically did a, did a little jog into, com into base contact with Fencer, who did a two inch reaction step because she can. He then did go into a bit of a stepping wall with Wasp to kind of step up to here. I mean, it's, it's probably stupid to put him there. He's probably just going to die, but I kind of had to do something. I kind of wish I hadn't picked up the booster with him. That was a mistake, mm -hmm. I think, but never mind. Um, I didn't know who else to pick it up with. I should pick it up with Graddock, probably. Um, he could have picked it up fine. Um, and now I've got one combat hit, so one hit against Freya. So 
These are my cards. Let's see what happens. There we go, lad. So, two, and it's, he gets plus two to that as well. <coughs> so it's four. Slicing. So four plus damage. Plus two, is it? Yep. Plus, plus two to slicing damage. Okay. So, that put a low guard, so he gets four damage on Freya. Yep, I don't see any defence on that, so that's just... Yep, okay. Cool. That's the end of his activation. Okay, just to summarise turn three so far, we left it where Jack... Young Jack. And young Jack had moved up and done a bit of damage to Freya. She activated, healed herself, and then did Fizzle Pop, doing a bit of damage to him and pushing him away. Uh, activated Mama Gimbal, she did Mother's Love, pulled them together, healed his two wounds. Then Silver Tongue went, dug up the Moonstone, healed the wound on Freya with Whispered Secrets, and then just dodged away over there. Because uh, he had the Moonstone, it meant that Morris then had an extra move, because I've got to fire the odds. Just in range to do Sinkhole. I had nothing to lose, so I just said, red three, even though I had a green two. Took a catastrophe, didn't really care, because he'll heal it beginning of the next turn anyway. Um, after that, fence, uh, Wasp just ran away over there, with his remaining energy in his jog. Braddock moved up and did Sinkhole... Sinkhole, uh, Sinkhole uh, snare trap Sinkhole. on Fencer, did one wound, so Fencer suffered three wounds. As it stands, there's no way I can win this game because these two have got the Moonstones and I'm I'm too far away. And um, so that's what that, that is. So we're going to have a nice juicy combat. These two are going to hit each other. Yeah, we'll come back with that. Okay, on to the combat. So I've got six cards because I've got various bonuses. You've got eight, these are mine. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two sweeping cuts. So I think that does nothing at all. Yeah, just clash against each other. Uh, except you also have two, two, two damage. Oh, and I've got slicing. Raiding, I've got raiding pass as well. So you'll... I also have a one damage because I'm minus one. It's my shield. I also have a one and you also have a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, I also have a one. Yeah, so I just add to that. You've got, Jack's got spiteful, so he'll suffer two and then heal one. Yeah. And I'll just suffer one. <laughs> so next round of combat um, I've already selected my card this one here you ready? oh burn thrust. double thrust sweeping they get a sweeping card so <sighs> I, think sweeping that, I think that kills you yep yeah, zero Damn plus two thrust. plus two for slicing two health left yeah you did you did uh, you relatively did. irrelevant we're going to call it there well, I'm, I'm conceding because I can't, get those two, I can't get those two Moonstones. Um, I think you played a good game there. Get the Moonstones. Blue <coughs> is the safest. Yeah, not a very really. flashy game. but very not very, It wasn't a very flashy game. It was fun. It was fun to use different, different troops. We have, neither of us had used EVs before, so that was interesting. Yeah, yeah it was um, yeah. I think what I should have done, I should have left Morris over there, got that one, and then jogged over this way, and put all the other three over here and marched around. I think you played it. I think you played it absolutely sound. I wouldn't trade anything that you played when I mean, you won it. In, you know, quite safely, really. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the only reason Fred to die is because you decided to have random combat. You could have just not fought him and then run over here <laughs> and sat there and protected yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, if only Fred had had Moonstone, I wouldn't have. Done yeah. It. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all good. Cool. Did you enjoy fairies, though? Yes, I did enjoy them. Um, yeah. Just so different, so different to gnomes. Yeah, which is what you mainly use mainly recently, isn't gnomes. it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and I enjoyed using gnomes. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed, I enjoyed these two. Gradoff and Mama Gimbal sort of shenanigans with what they can mm. add to that. That bundle there is quite fun. Yeah, um, very didn't get better, Morris, very but that's Morris. To play against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can really castle them up. I imagine that like, if it'd been the other way around, I'd got three moon turns to start with, it would have been an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Because I would have constantly just brought them all back again together in a big lump. Yeah. Um but yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed that. That was a nice lump. nice quick game. And it took us well, about an hour and a half. Yeah. By the time we started, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Um cool. All right. Right, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, uh, see, see you next time. time.